So for decades now, we've all known about the 3-2-1 rule for backup. You need three copies of your data in two different locations, with one of them isolated from that core data center. Most of you are probably doing this today already. You have a bunker site. You're replicating to that site. But what do you do for those environments that don't have a vault today? They may be edge or remote office situations where it doesn't make sense to actually replicate that back into a centralized environment. You may have cloud workloads where they're so dynamic in nature that again, your data protection policies aren't consistent across that environment. We believe there's a better way to handle these situations, a cloud-based way to handle the isolation of your environment. The days of having tape backups and shipping them to an offsite are gone. We all live in this cloud era. And so being able to actually spin up a vault in isolation in a cloud environment is something that we're really excited to share with all of you. A new SaaS service that we'll be creating, we call this Project Fort Knox. This is the ability to deliver that air-gapped vault as a service hosted by Cohesity in the cloud. And by doing that, you'll be able to run your ransomware detection capabilities and furthermore, be able to create a sandbox where you can actually run drills to validate that you can recover should you have an attack. So enough of me talking about this. I'd love for you to see a demo. So I'm going to welcome Nikita up on stage to show you that. Thanks, Matt. Now, before we jump into our exciting new product that's coming soon, let's first talk about some of the customer challenges that we're trying to solve with it. To do that, we're going to take a look at the data management environment for the aptly named NextGen Attorneys, an up-and-coming full-service law firm who want to better protect their valuable data and client information without having to spend too much time and resources maintaining IT infrastructure. The first step is to make sure that the production apps and servers are backed up onto Cohesity Helio, Helios via Cohesity Data Protect. This creates encrypted and immutable copies of their data on-prem. The next step is to make sure that their backup data is securely air-gapped in a data vault at a separate location and inaccessible to bad actors and ransomware. They could have gone with the traditional approach of shipping tape off-site or a more do-it-yourself approach of deploying and maintaining parallel infrastructure on their own to serve as a data vault. However, both of these approaches are cumbersome, time-consuming, and error-prone, which is the last thing they need in case of a ransomware attack. Now, imagine if next-gen attorneys could have a modern, easy-to-use SaaS solution for air-gapping that was more in tune with their name. They could put their focus back on better serving their clients than worrying about their IT environment, legally speaking. So this is where Project Fort Knox comes in. Project Fort Knox delivers a secure, cohesity managed data vault in AWS Cloud as a service. With Project Fort Knox, next-gen attorneys can slash operational complexity and speed up recovery by automatically storing their data in an immutable air gap vault in the cloud. They can also recover this data quickly and easily back to a location of their choice either on-prem or in the cloud. Now to show you how simple and easy it is to use Project Fort Knox, let me take you through a quick demo of this. Let's start with the Project Fort Knox UI. The first step is to set up a cloud vault. To do that, all you need to do is pick a name for your cloud vault. Let's go with West Coast Vault. Pick an AWS region in the cloud where you would like to start vaulting your data. I'm going to go with US West and pick an encryption policy. And boom, your West Coast Vault is now provisioned. Let's move on to step two, which is adding Cohesity clusters to this cloud vault. So let's pick a cluster that we would like to start vaulting. Let's pick SF production cluster here. Um, let's pick an encryption policy from all of the pre-provisioned policies or create your own custom policy. I'm going to go with gold policy here. Review the protection groups that are using this protection policy and add cloud vault stage to it. Lastly, we specify how often we would like to vault data and the retention policy. Click save and complete. And that's it. SF production cluster is now vaulting to the West Coast vault. You can also monitor the data transfer between the cluster, the date of the last transfer, as well as the connectivity status between the clusters and the West Coast Vault. As you can see, 
LA production cluster has been disconnected from the vault and you can quickly take steps to fix that. You can also monitor the data and performance at cluster, policy, protection group and object level. So you see how easy it was to create a cloud vault and start backing up your data. Imagine the complexity if you had to set up your own cloud vault to do this or even worse, use tape. So let's move on to the most important step, which is monitoring your clusters for anomalous activity via the anomalies dashboard. As you can see, SF production cluster has some anomalous activity going on. So let's take a deeper look and see what's happening. Here you can see the specific objects with anomalous snapshots. And unlike legacy solutions, you can choose to recover just a single object or all of the objects at once. I'm going to do the latter here and recover all of the objects together back to the latest clean copy of their data with just a few clicks. And that's it. As you can see, SF production cluster now has no more anomalous activity. So that's it, folks. With Project Fort Knox, it's that easy to back up your data onto an air gap cloud vault and start recovering this data back to source, all in three simple steps. Connect, vault and recover.